Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video we're going to be talking about standard MBT.1 and if you don't know what that means that's fine. It's basically, basically about understanding the place value system. And as you can see below I have two place value charts. Okay we're going to be working with both those. But let me back up here for one second. This is part one of two instructional videos. So there will be a part one and a part two and then I'll follow part one and part two up with a mastery check where you can do some on your own to see how well you understand this. And we're going to be talking about relationships between places in the place value system. And I'll show you what I, show you what I mean here in a second. Um, so let's top, start with this top place value chart. And we're going to start with a 2. Let's think about the number 2. If it's in the 1's place, it's worth 2. Its value is 2. How about if we push it 1 place to the left to the 10's place? Now we have a 20. So we're going to talk about what happens to the value of numbers depending on which place they're in. So I'm going to come over here to the right to talk a little bit more about this. So let's start with our 2 again and our 20. And let's push the 2 over one more spot to the left and make its value 200. Every time we push a number to the left one spot our value increases by 10. So think about it. If we get if we have a 2 that's worth 2 and then a 2 that's worth 20, that 2 here is 10 times the value of this 2. And if we move it again, our value increases by 10. 2,000. Push it to the left again. Value increases by 10. By 10. Okay, every jump to the left, the value of that digit will increase by 10. Okay, I'm going to write out a number here. We'll use fives. 55,555 we'll use as an example. This five right here, value is five. If we take a look at the place to the left, our value increases by 10. This five would be worth 50. Let's increase the value by 10 again. And we have 500. Increase the value by 10 again. We have 5,000. And then if we increase the value by 10 again, we have 50,000. That looks like a decimal. That's a comma. That's a comma. Okay. So every jump to the left, the value increases by 10. Now I'm going to do one more example here. How about we have a 7, and let's compare it to the value of the 7 in 700. Now here, we made two jumps at once, which is 10 times 10. So the value of this 7 here would be 100 times greater than this 7 because it's two spots to the left. Now, we'll do some follow-up questions in part two where we will apply this so it will make a little more sense um, when we get into some fifth grade type questions that have to do with the relationship here in our place value system. Now if we go the other way Let's say we have a, an 80 here, and we're comparing it to this 8, and we make a jump to the right. Every time we make a jump to the right or decrease the value by one place, we are taking one-tenth of the value. So remember, I'll put a little note here. If we increase the value, which is a jump to the left, we increase the value by 10, 10 times the value. If we decrease the value or make a jump to the right, we take one tenth 
of the value. So that same example will do 55,555. Every jump to the right, that five decreases in value by one tenth. So two jumps at one time would be one one hundredth, right? The opposite of increasing the value by a hundred. Okay, I'll take that same example, that's 700 and the seven. Let's take that seven and push it two places to the right, which would be one tenth by one tenth, which is one one hundredth. Okay, so that's a little introduction video. Be sure to check out the description for the link to part two where we will add some questioning to this concept here with understanding the place value system. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.